Wow, I am so excited, I can't wait to inform this to my elder sister. I believe this is going to work for me, I signed the contract, I work with them, and I make money. Wow, 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 wow. Sister, why this face? Why? My employment letter was rejected. I am so terrified. Why would they have to reject your letter, even though they know that you're qualified for the job? Why this world is sometimes really hard, now how do I explain my plans? What? What exactly do you mean, Lena? I thought I am going to see you in happy mood. I have a plan, I mean a business plan. A plan I took for a very long time, and I had a plan that today would be the best time to let you know about it, but it didn't come that way. How come? How come this world doesn't support our plans? Whenever we plan for positivity, we only came out to see negativity. Why? Why? Oh my God. We have no parents, no family. God, if this world doesn't support our plans and decisions, how can we worship you like the way you said in the Bible? Philippians 4-19 and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. What do we do? What exactly do I do become best version of myself? Oh my God! How do I pick the pieces of my life all together? Where do I start? My plans are not working for me, everything is not working for me. I am deeply frustrated and worried oh my God! Oh my Lord, I need a job! I need a job to survive. As it's written in Matthew 7 verse 7. Ask and it will give unto you, seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Father as I pray, I decree, let my heavens be opened to receive my employment in the name of Jesus. I put the system under pressure. Let these organizations begin to work in my favor and the job be granted to me in a hurry. I speak over my CV. Anyone that will handle it will work in my favor. This job is mine in the name of Jesus. What God has given to me another will not take. This job belongs to me and another will not take it. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Who is knocking at this middle of the night? Who is that? Who? What do you want? We are starving. I and my sister have not eaten since last night. Please can you give me some food? I don't have any food for you. And what makes you think I will offer you a food? Have you forgotten that your mother is my enemy? And for that matter I hate all of her children. If you want trouble leave this place. But I think my mother wasn't at fault, she was only trying to stop you from sinning against God. What do you mean? Your mother never liked me, and I will never like you as well. By the way, I am happy she is dead, she is no longer alive to take care of you, and other of your sister. <laughs> my daughter. The important thing in life is to believe God, believe in Christ. Jesus is important to us because, through his atonement, teachings, hope, peace, and example, he helps us change our lives, face our trials, and move forward with faith as we journey back to him and his Father. You must trust and believe in God but not human. Because God is not human to promise you and fail you later on, or say words to you and later change his mind. Remember it's only God that can help you when you are in your downfall, but not human. Human might help you, 
but God will help you. Meaning, he is ever available to help you. But human would have to consider how good you are to them or how bad you are to them, before helping you. Thank you mother. Mother. Mother, I miss you, I miss your words. I wish you were alive, so I can say one more thanks to you. Hello beauty. How are you doing? I am good. I am Desmond. I want to have a conversation with you. Okay, go ahead. Cutting the long story short, I need a woman to marry. I need a woman to be with. I have sat down at the bus stop for so long just to wait for a woman to pass by, and to my surprise, I saw you passing by. See, I have studied you for a while and I am happy you are type of woman I want in my life. So would you like to be with me? Come again. I said, would you like to be with me? I mean, if you accept to be with me, I will marry you. Are you serious? I don't think you're really serious gentlemen. With all due respect gentlemen, your dressing even tells me you are incapable of financing yourself, because your dress look too low and faded. Again, I don't know you, I have not met you before, this is my first time of meeting you in this city. I don't know. If you're fake or real, I can't tell. Please let me go, I am in hurry to check out my letter at the market, please I don't have time. I have met several women, they all complained about my dressing and my broken lifestyle. I don't know if love exists or not. I have been looked for a good woman like you to marry, but I never found one, you are unique and special. Sea Beauty, looking for a woman to marry has been my burden and headache for almost half a year. Please don't turn me down, please. See gentlemen, like I said it earlier, I don't know if you're real or fake, or if you're a responsible man or not, I have no idea. I can't just jump into marriage just as that. Besides I have no parents, no family. I have no family to support me when I am in trouble. So I am only praying to God for a job, but not marriage. Please I am not ready for marriage right now. Or give me some time to think about it. Okay, no problem. Can I know your name? Vera is my name. Can I leave now? Why are you embarrassing me, son? Father, what have I done this time? I don't like your dressing. You have a rich family, why would you dress like this to the market? Father, have you forgot my plan I told? About my marriage. I went outside in this dress to find a real wife. To my surprise, it was easy but, I found one. You found one? A wife? So what did she say? She said, she is going to think about it. Did you tell her that you're rich? No father, why would I do that? You know I have suffered in hands of women for so many time by telling them I am from rich family. I have learned my lessons this time. I am happy for you my son. But go in there and change yourself. Okay father. Wait. I am coming. Hi, I am Desmond. Please I am looking for Vera. Is she around? She is not around. Is there any problem? Yes, there is a problem. For the past two weeks she has been answering my calls and text messages. I think she is avoiding me because of my broken life. Why have you said anything against her? No, I have no idea about why she keeps avoiding me all the time. I am really worried. That's I came here to know why. Please help me talk to her. Okay, don't worry, I will talk to her. You know it's been difficult for her to get a better job, so she's been mentally disturbed. I love her so much, and I... I want to marry her. I know that Desmond, you don't have to repeat that before me, because I really know you want to marry her, and I will help you marry my sister. I remember when I was told that, the who trusts in his riches will fall, 
but the righteous will flourish like the green leaf middle dot but godliness with contentment is a great gain. Meaning? I mean you don't have to be rich to do what you want in life, but being happy with God in your life and being confident and contentment makes him bless your life with your heart desires and everything. And again, if a science 4 verse 2, be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bearing with one another in love. I can see you in this verse. I mean you are patient and calm for my sister. I can see how my sister keeps on avoiding you here and there, but that never stop you from loving her and keep persistence. This tells me that you truly in love with her. But I am sorry for how she has been avoiding you. No problem. Then see you later. Bye bye. The door's open. Come in. How did it go my son? Normal. I didn't meet her. Don't bother yourself. Everything will be fine, okay? It's me, Vera. Open the door. Why this face? They rejected my letter. Which company? That new company at the market. Don't worry, come and sit down. I have a good news for you. Good news? What is the news about? Wait first. Let me tell you something. A man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. After God made the first woman and entrusted this remarkable gift to the man, God instituted what we call marriage. Two persons becoming one new entity. My sister, all what I am trying to say is, why don't you accept Desmond and marry him? God said, because man and woman were created for one another, a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh, Genesis 2 verse 24. Scripture teaches that marriage is not a mere human institution, but something God established from the foundation of world. Without a doubt, Desmond truly loves you, and I believe it's right time you must love him too. See the kind of terrible situation you let him in, it's not good. Please listen to me and marry him, who knows if he might change your life. My sister, it's not like I don't want him, I really love him too, but I am jobless and he is also jobless. I am afraid things would become harder afterwards. Don't worry about that, just leave that to God. I am not sure if he is fully financially broke, he will ask your hands in marriage. Just go and say yes to him. Who knows when God closes one door, he opens another. What he opens, no one can shut and what he shuts, no one can open. Revelations 3, 7b It could be things are not really working for you, because he wants to open another blessing room for you through this marriage. Okay, I have heard you sister. I am happy come on give me hug. Desmond, I am here for you. You're here for me? I have been waiting for you for so long, but I thank God you are here for me. Are you sure? You are a billionaire. Yes, I am a billionaire, but I can't find true love. So I decided to act like a broke guy to find a true love. Please forgive me for not telling you the truth. Please forgive me, it's because of many women loved me for the sake of my money. But you were different. You truly loved me because of who I am. Please forgive me my wife, and that will not happen again. No problem, I have forgiven you. Baby, you know I am jobless, can you get me a job? What kind of job do you exactly want? That new company at the market. That one? It's one my father's company. We established it just last month. Don't worry, I will make you the boss. Wow, I am so happy. 
All my sorrow has come to an end. I thank you, Desmond. Come on, this is even small. I am going to make sure your family will be happy. Come to me.